right, this is Squid Game New Year's Prediction of 2022 for Pisces. So, I thought this was a fun premise. I saw another terror reader do this. I fell asleep during it. It's not their fault. I was working double shifts. But I thought the premise was really neat, so I was like, I'll do it on my channel and make it my own, you know. So, hopefully you enjoy it. If you would rather have, like, the shorter version, I did put it down below, below the questions. So, if you would like to look at that and actually take that as, you know, to see what happens during your year, by all means, that's yours. You can take that, whatever. Um, it's just a shorter version of it, and it has a little fortune at the end. So, if you want that, then, you know, you can take that. Anyway, let's get started with the first one, which would actually be zero, because it is the recruit stage of Squid Game, which is what I would call lust, the cost of everything in 2022. So I got the Knight of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse, uh, like romanticism or kind of like, desiring something enough to actually take it on, I feel. So, there there might be something to look forward to in 2022. So, yes, it will come to you naturally. So, there might be a, a kind of a fraud or bearing of false news. Um, so, there might be some gossip around this. Um, or there might be some other things happening. Which kind of, you know, might be a little bit different than what's really being talked about. But anyway, um, I, I feel like there's a lot of other things going around. It's not just one thing, it could be a lot more things. It's Seven of Cups energy in a Knight of Cups card, you know. So anyway, number one, the official number one of the game, we have red light, green light, or in Korean, it would be the hibiscus flower has bloomed. I put it down as success, money, and love in 2022. So we have the five of swords, and that would be, let's see, it would be the blue hibiscus. I feel like <laughs> This has been the only time that the blue hibiscus has come up in a reading, so uh, it could be good. So there's clarity, creativity, faith, truth, loyalty, um, truce. We have knowledge, spirituality, um, uh, let's see. inner nature. We have spiritual grounding and emotional balance. And we also have um, Sanctuary. So there could be either like a sacral chakra type thing. Or you might need to do some sacral chakra work too. So, you know, either or. Anyway, we have the same as upright meaning but less uh, definite. Strong possibility of redemption. So, this might actually be your year of redemption, especially with success and money and love. So, there's, what if you achieve all three? Um, that would be great. <laughs> Fun. Anyway, number two, we have Sugar Honeycomb. I put it down as patience. So, what are you looking forward to in 2022? We have... Awakening. So that is judgment card, which is good luck. So it could be good luck, good luck, or bad, bad luck. All right. So it depends on karma at this point. So um, make an offering to the sacred. Awaken to your life purpose. Devote yourself to your calling and your devotion to the world. So there's something here that's going to affect the world. You might be a leader. You might be a spiritual leader. You might be a terror reader. You might be an influencer. 
you might be a person in a community that just wants to make a difference, and you might actually achieve that this year, you know? You just had to put your mind to it. Anyway, so, number three. Number three, well, anyway, I'm going to just tell you what your cookie is in the sugar honeycomb before I go on. You actually have the broken cookie. The broken cookie is the heart cookie, so anything can happen. It's either you're going to learn a lesson or you're going to get the luck of the draw. So maybe it goes through as a perfectly precision-based cookie, or it's a broken one, but you learn a valuable lesson about it. So anyway... It's either or. But anyway, number three, we have tug of war. Tug of war is strength, inner strength, mental wellness through 2022. So how would, how will you do with that? In 2022, we have the devil. So good luck. So let's see. So sweet berries, um, sharp, uh, sharp thorns beware let awareness awaken the power of choice break free from the desires that keep you trapped so there might be something that you have to overcome leave behind um, do better at have the inner strength to walk away from or the mental awareness to know it's toxic okay maybe both hopefully it's both um so you can stop a cycle in your life from happening and constantly living in a toxic atmosphere, okay? So, we have number four. Number four is going to be marbles. So, talent of the bluff. What are your wishes, secrets, and hopes for 2022? We have the chariot in reverse. The chariot in reverse is good luck. Falling short of a goal, inability to cope with life, defeat and regression, um, rebelling against nothing. So I feel like you might be going through a little bit of depression, um, and you might not really know what to do at this point. So it's a bit of a karmic type of thing. It's kind of a cycle that you've kind of been living with. So whether you embrace it or leave it behind is entirely up to you. So hopefully you're working on shadow work and trying to do some self-care days where you do something nice for yourself. Um, because you should be your biggest fan, to be honest. Um, but I feel like there's a lot more going on here. I feel like somebody hurt you and then like you're kind of living in that cycle of oh I think I deserve that and it kind of gets into your mental spectrum of if this person treats me like this other people are going to treat me like this and it's not true it's how you perceive yourself and what you do for yourself that achieves the next level of patterns okay so you kind of have to grow from that lesson or those patterns and try to actually embrace yourself as an individual okay as a valuable individual because you are very valuable to somebody else and you might not realize it okay um let's see number five number five is hopscotch so glass bridge um i put it down as courage Will you be able to face your fears in 2022? We have the Queen of Water in reverse. So yes, it will come to you naturally. Um, there's an inconsistency, dishonesty, dishonorable acts. Okay, so this could be against you. There's perverse, falsely respected, and immoral. So there's some things in your life that may be very different from what they seem. There's something that goes from an extreme, oh, they're good people, and then, or they're in a good relationship, and then 
the truth is like well hidden so you have to take the mask off and reveal the truth of what's going on it can be very therapeutic to tell people the truth um maybe it's going to be tmi but at the same time it's not giving anybody any false hope on what it could be or what's happening it's giving truth that you're both imperfect people that need to work on each other or work on you know self-care shadow work um light work you know how you're perceived in the public eye and try to balance all those things and your inner child um wounds maybe you have some baggage from that as well so all this baggage has to be sorted at some point in your life you don't want to do it at the end of your life and then miss out on really good things that could have happened, you know? So it's better to do it now and hopefully everything works out instead of waiting until, you know, you're 80 and everything's passed you by, you know? It's better to check your baggage now than it is later, okay? And that's like that with the airport, too, you know? You had to check your baggage. Anyway, so... We have the last one, which will be Squid Game. This is the endurance level. So the endurance for 2022. How will he do by the end of 2022? Um, we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is no, and I feel like that's like that for everybody. Unless you're Aries or Scorpio that are going to be fighting to the death to win ultimate, you know, El Presidente 2022. <laughs> if you don't know what El Presidente is, it's um, the ultimate end game goal. It's it's a reward with no winners. It's just, it's just, yes, I won. Like, that kind of thing, you know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a return to the beginning beginner's mind first thought best thought uh make mischief with a sleeping cat the the thing is is that um if you've ever seen a sleeping cat usually they stay asleep until they need to wake up in most cases but with with cats they usually wake up immediately when you touch them so i feel like um you're you're actually just you know trying to play you know in a particular point in time area or thing when you're not supposed to it might be time for bed and you're playing with your cat you know basically <laughs> double entendre anyway so <laughs> but yeah usually with cats it's they're awake when you want to play so, uh, that's with pet felines and, you know, other anatomy. But anyway, so we have a couple of channeled messages for you. We have insomnia, so you might be suffering from not sleeping at night, such as myself. And you might be returning to something that is unhealthy, like my eating habits. I love chocolate, and I love vanilla, and I love cake. Mom got me the strawberry cake for Christmas, so I'm still eating that. It's it's fantastic. It's not like a shortcake. It's, it's a fantastic, delicious, rich strawberry cake um, with custard and, like, that preserved filling, you know, the strawberry jam in the middle. It's really... But anyway, so we have finding your life purpose of being a, obviously in my case, probably a pastry chef. I was a pastry chef at Dunkin' Donuts. I don't think that that counts though, but I made cake and other things. So, you know, kind of is pastry chef, but it's not to like a professional level. It's to a more commercial level. Anyway. Um, Pisces, hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Hopefully you had fun. It was just a little taste. I liked watching Squid Game myself, so I figured I'd make, you know, reading that was fun. It might not be 100% like the game, but 
it, it gives you something to look forward to in 2022. Maybe even make it better because, you know, spoilers. But, um, hopefully you had a lot of fun. And if you have insomnia, what I do to fall asleep is I have a little bit of hot chocolate. Because the mind loves hot chocolate. It makes your little endorphins excited. So, you know, you kind of have that kid's excitement of tomorrow morning, you know. But, um... Yeah, that seems to help me, so hopefully it helps you too. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next reading, alright? Don't be too, you know, too much of an insomniac. I know when I do it, it's, it's for a purpose, but being an insomniac actually hurts like, when you need to take your vitamins and stuff. I'm having it myself where it's like totally like, ugh. Anyway. Later.